So this is the first pedal. It's the little teapot, and it's a treble booster with a tone knob. And these are the settings I'm going to start on. Uh, it's just about unity volume, and the tone knob is rolled back to the smallest capacitor, which is the most treble. And the least amount. So I'm going to start out here at just about unity volume on, with the tone knob rolled all the way back. That's very close to the original Range Master's setting. And here's the bypass signal. So really not much change even as you get all the way up the neck. Uh, I'll bring the volume up to about 60%. And it'll be louder, but it'll also kind of get a little softer at the top end, like where it's distorting. Bass notes still sound, I mean, they're a little louder, but they sound mostly the same, and then it jumps out a lot as you get high up the neck. So I'm not going to turn the volume all the way up because this camera's internal microphone will distort, but I will turn the tone knob up to about halfway between, it's, it's a blend knob, so it's about halfway between the stock setting and a full range boost. to write about unity volume where the knob was on the first setting. Uh, here's the bypass again, just, to, just for a reference. And still, the bass notes sound just about normal. Uh, they're a little louder, of course, again, but um, but I think the G, I think the G string is about where it's where it's starting to distort at this point. So now I'll turn the tone knob up all the way. This is this is now a completely full range boost. And you can hear that it's now getting very distorted. Um, one of the ways that this circuit distorts has to do with how much bass is going into it. So. This isn't really my favorite setting. My favorite setting, I bag the tone knob off a little bit and um, use it with my compressor. And there's a little bit of a hiss in the room, but... Mm -hmm. 